but it's also what's happening inside. And I guess it's no uh, mystery for a lot of us. Health is a major issue in our world today because of this pandemic. In fact, even recently, um, we're, we're realizing that this pandemic is also affecting Filipinos in a very deep way. Uh, I remember one article that Coach P sent about how there is a lot of Filipinos that are being affected and even losing their lives because of this pandemic. And, in, and I was reading his article, there was a portion there that was saying uh, it's because the health of the Filipinos are not taken care of. It's because there was already some complications inside our bodies. And because of that, it made experiencing this pandemic worse and even to the extreme of losing our lives. And as health is a major issue today, it's a major issue maybe in your life, maybe it's a major issue in your family, we'll get to realize it is also a major issue with God. It is a major issue in the Bible. He talks about going deeper in our relationship with Him, that He is the source, and the lifestyle that we are pursuing has to be connected to health. Now, as we talk about fitness or health today, I remember what Coach Gina said one time. He, she said that to become physically fit for our Creator is a completely different attitude. That we're not doing this because we want to please ourselves. We're not doing this because we want to please others. But we want to do this because we are want to please the one who created us. As we look at this topic, it's a bit strange because we live in a society today that only wants to be fit for the self. And that's why your health is not about you. It's about your mission and lifestyle. And maybe one person that had embodied this for over a number of years already is a man by the name of Jimmy Pena. And um, he probably embodies what Paul said in the book of Corinthians, in 1 Corinthians chapter 6, verse 20, Honor God with your body. I got this from somebody. When uh, maybe if you're living with somebody or maybe if you're watching with somebody, you tuned in right now, uh, maybe you could turn to that person and can you ask that person this question? Go ahead, do it, do it. Don't be shy. <laughs> uh, I know there's maybe a, um, a tendency for you not to do what we ask you up here, but could I ask you to do this? Turn to that person beside you, your family member, your loved one, anyone who is with you, or maybe even text that loved one. Ask this question. Is my body honoring God? <laughs> Is my body honoring God? Because Paul reminds us in 1 Corinthians 6 verse 20, Honor God with your body. And so there's this man, his name is Jimmy Pena. He is an MS, CSCS. He's a New York Times best-selling author, currently the exercise psychologist to LL Cool J, Mario Lopez, Tyler Perry, and so on and so forth. He was interviewed with Bodybuilding.com, and I'd like to show to you a few snippets uh, of, his, of his interview. Uh, one of the questions was this, what came first for you, your faith or your passion for fitness? And Jimmy Pena said, well, my parents put me in a sports at a very young age. I can't remember a time in my life when I wasn't competing. From Saturday morning football to summer baseball, my life has been full of activities. And when in the eighth grade, I began a personal relationship with Jesus and my life was never the same. So from then on, I had two passions faith and fitness and it's in, been that way ever since now look at this next question he was asked when did you realize that faith and fitness could and should coincide so he said you know i'm not exactly sure when i realized it but watch this it doesn't take faith to be fit because there's a lot of people that are faith that are fit but don't really have a connection with god but can we read this together can you read this with me but if you have faith, you should try to be. Is our health required for heaven? No, of course not. But then again, we shouldn't try to be healthy in order to be loved by God. We should try to be healthy because we are already loved by God. I simply believe that something so fearfully and wonderfully made deserves better attention and upkeep. To say that God only looks at the heart is one thing. But to willfully neglect the body that carries the soul, this is what's kind of painful. Well, that's a heart problem. Um, you know, this statement of him reminds me of another man in the scriptures. His name is Paul. 
he wrote a letter to the Church of Philippi, and it's now known as the Book of Philippians. And um, in Philippians chapter 2, it's a very, very famous verse that we all know. But watch this, right? Uh, maybe we can read the NIV translation. Philipp- or rather, Philippians chapter 1, verse 21 and 22. Paul said, For me to live is Christ and to die is gain. If I am to go on living in the body, this will mean fruitful labor for me. Now, it's very familiar for many of us, but could I, just look at, could I invite you to look at this from this perspective? That to willfully neglect the body that carries a soul could be a heart problem simply because of this. Philippians 1, verse 21 to 22, the Philips version. Let's read, it, this, let's read this translation. For me, uh, for living to me simply means Christ. Living simply means Christ. And if I die, I should merely gain more of Him. But I realize, of course, that the work which I have started may make it necessary for me to go on living in this world. Could I say it again, Paul Village? Your health is not about you. Look at this. Your health is not about you. It's about fulfilling your calling, fulfilling your missional lifestyle. Another translation, Paul said, Philippians chapter 1. By the way, Many of us probably think that when Paul wrote this, he's probably a 30-year-old, maybe a 40-year-old. But oftentimes, we forget, I even sometimes forget, that when I read the book of Philippians, this written from a man who is aged, who is well advanced in years. Philippians was written by a man who is already in his prison cell, advanced in his years, an aged old man sitting in his prison cell, looking out the window. Paul writes in Philippians chapter 1, verse 21 to 22. Maybe let's read the NLT translation. For me, living means living for Christ. And dying is even better. But if I live, I can do more fruitful work for Christ. Church, village, in other words, again, your health is not about you. It's about your missional lifestyle. And pivoting our health is our new superpower. Thank you again for watching our YouTube videos. We hope that these messages encourage you and inspire you to move forward within your life. If you have further discussions or want to have further discussion, we have questions right below in our description box. So just click that. And we believe here that life is better connected. So feel free to share the content, like, subscribe, and ring that bell so you get further notifications on what we're doing here and the messages to come. So with that, thank you for watching our videos. We'll see you again.